Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Pro. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this episode, we'll talk about immigrating to Canada as a low-skilled worker in 2023. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end, please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Immigrating to Canada as a low-skilled worker in 2023 is easier than it has ever been before. The economy doesn't only depend on skilled workers such as doctors, teachers, engineers, and software developers. Unskilled workers such as farm workers, truck drivers, waiters, and janitors who are also considered to be the foundation on which large industries rely. Canada has a goal of inviting over 500,000 immigrants as permanent residents per year by 2025, so this is the perfect time for foreign nationals to start their journey to Canada. With approximately 100 visa and immigration programs, individuals are sure to find the pathway that works for them. Low-Skilled Occupations in Canada Low-skilled occupations are usually in the fields of trade, primary, agriculture, animal husbandry, and viniculture and manufacturing industries, sales, and certain assistant, certain assistant role. It is classified according to the following National Occupational Classification, NOC categories. Skill Type C, which includes occupations that usually require a secondary school and door occupation, specific training, and Skill Type D, which includes occupations for which on the job training is provide image here. There are five major Canadian immigration programs a foreign skilled worker can use to immigrate to Canada. Provincial Nominee Program The Provincial Nominee Program, PNP, offers immigrants who have a Canadian job offer the opportunity to move to Canada permanently and settle in one of the 13 provinces or territories. Each PNP has different programs that are aimed at meeting the labor market needs within the province or territory. Applicants have the option of directly applying to a province they are interested in or they can apply through the express entry system. Those wanting to get to Canada sooner should apply through the express entry system, which is significantly quicker. To increase your chances of success, applicants should apply to provinces where their skills are in demand. Five most popular PNPs for unskilled foreign nationals, Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program, Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program. Another often used program to immigrate to Canada by low-skilled workers is the Atlantic Immigration Pilot. Atlantic Immigration Pilot. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot allows foreign nationals to immigrate as permanent residents to one of the four Atlantic provinces, namely Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. This pilot is great for immigrating to Canada as a low-skilled worker. Starting from 2023, applicants do not require Canadian work experience to be eligible. Applicants will only require one year of foreign work experience and a job offer from a Canadian employer in one of the participating provinces. Applicants can apply for the following program under the Atlantic Immigration Pilot, Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. To apply for this program, you must have at least one year's experience working in a position that requires a high school education or job-specific training. You must have a high school diploma equal to a Canadian credential, for which you will need an Educational Credential Assessment ECA report. You will need to take an approved language test to prove you are proficient enough in English or French to live and work in Canada, and... You need to have proof of funds that meet the minimum required amount to support yourself as well as any dependents regardless of whether they are joining you in Canada or not. If you want to move to rural Canada as a low-skilled worker, then we recommend taking a look at the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot below which is a Canadian immigration program specifically designed to help prospective immigrants move to rural Canada, rural and northern immigration pilot. The Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, RNIP, helps smaller communities in Canada by allowing them the opportunity to employ foreign-skilled workers. 
Immigrants who are looking to live in rural Canada can apply for the positions and, if successful, the community can recommend the applicants to the government for permanent residence. Eleven communities are participating in the RNIP. They are located in Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. One of the main requirements for this program is to have an offer for a full-time job from a Canadian employer. Several jobs are in high demand in the participating communities. They include dental industry, financial services, practical nurses, food processing, agriculture and manufacturing. If you have experience in agriculture, we recommend using the Agri-Food Immigration Pilot to immigrate to Canada as a low-skilled worker in 2023. Agri Food Immigration Pilot. The Agri Food Immigration Pilot creates a pathway for skilled farm and livestock workers to move to Canada and apply for permanent residence. Applicants will need to have a valid job offer and show they are experienced workers in one of the specified occupations within the meat production and agricultural sector to apply for this program. Besides requiring one year of experience, applicants will also need the following have a valid full-time, non-seasonal permanent job offer in Canada for which the salary must meet or exceed the prevailing wage, a minimum CLB and CLC score of 4 in either English or French, have a Canadian high school diploma or an educational credential assessment, ECAA, of a foreign equivalent or higher, and have enough money to support themselves and their family members, even if they won't be moving to Canada with the applicant. If you have family that you want to move to Canada with, we recommend using the Family Sponsorship Program to bring your family to Canada through sponsorship once you have obtained permanent residency status. Family Sponsorship To foster further growth and address the need for families to immigrate together so they cannot be separated, the Canadian government has created several family sponsorship immigration streams that enable Canadian citizens and permanent residents to sponsor their family members and bring them to Canada as permanent residents. These family sponsorship programs are divided into categories based on the relationship between the Canadian sponsor and sponsored family member. These categories include the Spouse Partner Sponsorship Program, the Parent and Grandparent Sponsorship Program, the Dependent Child Sponsorship Program, the Adoption Sponsorship Program, the Adopted Child Sponsorship Program, the Other Relative Sponsorship Program, the Canada Super Visa, if you want to move to Canada on a temporary basis, you can use the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. Temporary Foreign Worker Program If you're unsuccessful in immigrating to Canada through an immigration visa program that grants you permanent residency status, then you can use the Temporary Foreign Worker Program as a means to gain Canadian employment that can make you eligible to obtain permanent residency status through the Express Entry Canadian Experience Class Program the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, TFWP, allows Canadian employers to hire foreign national workers when there are not any Canadian or permanent residents available to fill the position. Canadian employers can hire foreign semi-skilled workers through the following streams under the EWP. Low-Wage Worker Stream, Agriculture Worker Stream, Home Care Provider Stream. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episode. Till then, take care. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Canada PR. We hope you are doing great. Well, in this episode, we will talk about immigrating to Canada as a low skilled worker in 2023. So to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end, please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Uh, immigrating to Canada as a low skilled worker in 2023 is easier than it has ever been before. The economy doesn't only depend on skilled workers such as a doctor, teachers, engineers and software developers. Unskilled workers such as a farm worker, truck drivers, waiters and janitors who are also considered to be the foundation on which large industries rely. Canada has a goal of inviting over 5 black immigrants as permanent residents per year by 2025. 
so this is the perfect time for foreign nationals to start their journey to Canada with approximately 100 visa and immigrant program individuals are sure to find the pathway that work for them thanks for watching the entire video hopefully the information is useful to you see you later in the next episode till then take care